Now we're going to move on to some groin muscles and muscles of adduction of the thigh. And we're going to start with adductor longus and brevis. They both originate on the inferior pubic ramus, which is again in close contact to the genitals. So what we can do is have them move the genitals off to the side and then we can palpate down until we hit that pubic bone, find the inferior portion and then we know it's going to come right down and insert on the linea aspera and that uh, medial part of the femur. Its main action of those two muscles are going to be adduction and for the muscle test we're going to bring the, the leg up to about 20-25 degrees and we're going to be pulling out while the patient has to then hold there nice and strong and pull back in towards adduction. There could be some various hand contacts here. You could do underhand, you could try overhand. Again, you just need to make sure you're in a good position to generate force. And again, I don't need to use a lot on my upper body. I can just lean back and challenge those muscles of adduction that way. Uh, for a variation on the adductor longus and brevis muscle test, if there is a knee pathology or knee pain, gripping down at the ankles may cause problems. So what we can do is get him back up into the test position and he can just hold there and again I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to grip across the knee either overhand or underhand and then support across the other knee while again pulling out and he has to go back inwards towards adduction. In this position, in this underhand grip position, you actually have a little bit more support of the limb and you may lose that a little bit in this overhand position. But he's a pretty strong guy, I can get a pretty good muscle test with both of these, you kind of just have to play with it and see what one works best for you as a practitioner.